Whenever you're creating a project in Scratch, it's important to think about a variety of people who will end up using your project or playing your game. Otherwise, you might unintentionally prevent some people from being able to engage with the projects that you create. For example, if you're creating a story in Scratch that has text, how might you make it so that someone who is blind or can't yet read also enjoy your story without having to read your text? One solution for this is to add in optional audio tracks that describe what's happening in each of the scenes of your story. You could add this kind of code by having users press the spacebar on each backdrop to hear the descriptive narrative there are many more ways that you can make a Scratch project more accessible. For example, how might you modify a game to make it so someone with one hand can play? What could you change in a project with sound or music for a person who cannot hear? How might you modify a game for someone who doesn't have as fast of a reaction time as you do? Adding a variety of difficulty levels not only makes your game more accessible, but it also increases the replayability. So when creating your project in Scratch, ask yourself questions like these and think through who might not be able to engage with your Scratch projects and figure out some innovative solutions to make your project even more accessible. Accessible. Check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.